This was the first concert that I was going to on my own. I'm really excited. I was trying to delete loads of pictures on my phone so I had enough, I had enough space for all the videos that I was going to take. <laughs> Spotlights went on in time with the music and the crowd just went crazy. It's just inspiring. Empowering. Everything was just really exciting. It was new. There was like music playing while we got up and I was just making my way out onto the stairs and then we heard like this, it was like a like a boom sound. Oh my God. What's going on? You could feel the sound wave hit you. And then just suddenly flash, like a bright flash. It like hit my face, like little tiny, like little bolts and nuts and stuff. I remember going up into the air and then hitting the floor. And that's when I saw, like, my finger was hanging off, like, all my three fingers. Everything that you thought would never happen to you, that you see everywhere on the news, is actually happening. I felt that like, this is it. I'm young, I've just started my life and, and now it's going to be taken away from me. Twenty-two people have died and 59 are injured after a suicide bombing at the end of Ariana Grande's gig at Manchester Arena. People see it as a news story and people see it as something that happens and then it goes away. But you never go a day without thinking about it, do you? You mm. never go an hour without thinking about it. How many times I've actually had to wake my mum upon a night because I've had a nightmare. And that's almost something what a kid would do. You know, go into the mum's room and say, I've had a nightmare, but it's not like a nightmare of being chased. It's actually what happened that night. I relive it. And I relive it if I was going to other concerts. I've had um, dreams about the same thing happening, but in a shopping centre. So I was just like resorting my room out for the fifth time that day until like four o'clock in the morning because I just didn't want to sleep because I was too scared to go to sleep in case I had another nightmare. Silence is too frightening for me and that, that's on a night like I try to um, get to my tiredest point of where I'm always dropping to sleep before I go to bed because I don't want to lay in bed and to have these thoughts. I just want to drop off to sleep and then hopefully wake up and it be morning. I used to be so independent and now I just feel like I I rely on everyone. Like, I don't like being on my own. I don't like being, um, like, just being left to myself. Because I wasn't hurt or I feel like someone's, like, going to, like, it's constantly there, like, waiting to, like, and, like, I'm going to get hurt because I didn't at that night. I know, like, now not to take anything for granted anymore because things can just change in a matter of minutes. And it did that night. That's what happened. Things just changed so quickly. When I'm older, I want to be able to just think about it, but then be like, yeah, that happened, but say what? And be like, and then not like, not in a disrespectful way, just to be like, it not bother me.